Hi there, Leah here from Lakela Music with five tips for beginner piano students plus a bonus tip to make sure you stay until the end. If you're watching this because you've uh, just started learning the piano, then well done you for diving in. Uh, you won't regret it. Taking up any instrument is one of the best things you can do for yourself. Having said that, learning to play as well as you'd like to can be a challenge. So I've put together some pointers, some advice um, to help you get the most out of it and hopefully avoid some obstacles along the way. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and let's get started. Number one, commit to a tiny practice habit. Often when we start a new ho hobby or commit to a goal or a new year's resolution, we go all in and try to do too much too soon and then we burn out really quickly and abandon the goal. So by all means, um, when you're starting off, ride that wave of enthusiasm, but make your commitment to the practice really, really small and stick to it like glue. I mean, tiny. Um, your commitment could be that you sit at your piano every day for 30 seconds. That's it. Uh, because it's a really easy thing to do um, in itself, but it's also sometimes the hardest step if you promise yourself you're going to practice for an hour every day. Getting your bum onto the piano stool is the biggest hurdle you have to get over to start practicing. Once you're there, chances are you're going to do some practice. And once you get warmed up and into it, um, maybe you'll do an hour. But there are going to be many days when the thought of practicing just feels like too much. And if your daily goal is just to sit at the piano for 30 seconds and you do that and you still don't want to practice that day, no problem, you've kept your commitment. Most of the time, though, you'll do at least a little practice while you're there and over time that really adds up. Number two, consider getting a teacher. It might be beyond your budget to go f to a teacher for weekly lessons, but uh, you could go maybe once a fortnight or once a month even. If you're serious about learning piano, it, it really is worth considering because there's some great benefits to involving a professional in your learning. First of all, they're going to spot any bad habits that are creeping in so you can correct them quickly. And secondly, a teacher can also speed up your progress because they can point out things to you that you might miss, like patterns in the music or theory that helps to make sense of what's on the page. Um, and thirdly, a teacher is going to push you to do better and hold you to higher standards. And because you know you're going to be seeing them on a particular date, you'll be more motivated to practice so that you're actually prepared for the lesson. Number three, spend a little time at each practice on basics, like piano geography, note rhythm reading, rhythm reading, technique. It's really easy when you're practicing to jump straight into whatever piece you're working on because it's really exciting to be able to play a song that you love, right? But you can fall into a, a trap if you get into the habit of playing the same things every time you practice, uh, just because the other things you know you should be practicing are harder or less engaging by comparison. So it's good to remind yourself frequently that practicing is all about developing and improving your skills. So it, it should feel kind of uncomfortable some of the time. If, if your goal as a beginner is to get to a point where you can tackle more ambitious pieces, you know, the bucket list stuff, then you really need to make sure that you've got the fundamentals down really solidly. So being able to find your way around the keyboard, literally with your eyes shut, being able to read both notes and rhythm easily, these are skills that take time to develop, um, but you'll get there much faster if you consciously work at them in each practice, even if only for a few minutes at a time. Do them first before you get to the fun stuff. Number four, uh, get the best instrument that you can. I'm not saying you have to invest in a Steinway, but if you're trying to learn on a kid's play keyboard that Santa brought somebody 15 years ago and the notes disappear after half a second and the sound hurts your ears, you're not going to be very inspired to continue, are you? Maybe you have a reasonably good keyboard, but only five octaves and no pedal and you can't control the volume of the notes by um, touch alone. Well, that will definitely get you started, but just bear in mind as you gain confidence in your skills, you might want to invest in something that gives you those options especially if you're interested in playing classical piano. But even if you just want to play um, pop songs or gospel or whatever, you want to have that expressiveness that you get with the, having those beautiful bass notes or a sustained pedal and weighted keys that allow you to play loud or soft. If your budget is small, you can always find secondhand digital pianos for sale or um, a basic stage piano. So it's like a digital piano, but without the big casing, you just pop it up on a portable stand. Number five, start listening to piano music. Uh, listen to stuff that you wouldn't ordinarily. Uh, if you love classical, try some new age and vice versa. Listen to different performers play the same piece of music and notice the different ways that they interpret it. For example, you can compare Glenn Gould or Lang Lang playing the Goldberg variations or listen to Horowitz versus Ashkenazi playing Chopin or the teenager next door versus Ludovico Einaudi playing Ludovico Einaudi. You can learn a lot about what's possible by listening to others and their interpretations. And here's a bonus tip, subscribe to this channel. I know that uh, sounds like self-promotion because it probably is, but I'm genuinely invested in helping you develop your playing and I have a lot of material that I want to share with you that'll help keep you progressing and hopefully uh, keep you excited about becoming a piano player. 
I'm starting a few new series this year where I'll be doing weekly points on technique and theory and how to apply them to your playing. Um, hopefully that'll be on Wednesdays and then a longer weekly tutorial on Fridays on a classical piece where I break it down and show you how to work on it, learn it faster, what techniques you need, all that stuff. Um, you know, so you can build some repertoire at different levels. Uh, and on Mondays I'll have a short little video with some tips, um, like today, maybe a quick book review, fun facts, that kind of thing. So subscribe and click the little bell icon if you want to be notified about new videos. So that's it for today. Uh, let me know if you're planning to do anything new based on what we talked about today. I always love to hear from you. And let me know if there's anything you need me to, to cover. Bye.